Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Breaking the Chains. So Breaking the Chains is on Amazon. Paid for a movie last night, wasn't too happy about that. Um, this is about a police officer who deals with alcoholism, depression, and a devastating loss. But then he turns to God. So yes, it's a faith-based movie starring Dean Cain. It is a low-scoring one, 4.6 on IMDb, but only 356 people rated it so far. A lot of people don't get into faith-based movies, but I'll watch them. Hopefully there's a good story at the end. Uh, either way, I'll let you know a little bit more about what it's about, and then I'll let you know what I think. So stick around. Hour and 43 minutes. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Break Every Chain. Sorry, no check-in, but uh, I tried to check in. My camera stopped recording, so... Um, if I'm able to piece it together, you'll get a check-in. I'll throw it in there. And if not, I'm making a mess of this. Anyway, um, so as I, as the plot tells you, we have our main character who, you know, uh, has a little tragedy as a teenager, parent. Um, it's right in the beginning, so it's not a spoiler. But goes grows into it an adult and becomes a police officer. And obviously he has some um, issues uh, because of that loss in his life. Well, he becomes a police officer, very, very good at his job, but he happens to do it in Bridgeport, West Virginia. I don't know if this place exists or not, but it's one of the worst uh, places in the world to be a cop for all those things that this guy has to see. So just like any other cop, which I am a big fan of our police um, um, and cops, whatever, um, he, you know, sees a lot of different things. It drives him into um, depression and alcoholism. Of course, he is also... There is a city of Bridgeport. Okay. Um, anyway, seeing it in the credits, he's married. Puts a strain on his entire family, as you can imagine. And essentially, it's all about, you know, hitting the lowest of the lows. He, you get the age of questions as he's going through all this of why do um, bad things happen to good people? Um, but with all of this going on, he gets the demons, um, and he has to deal with it. Dean Cain happens to play a, a pastor at a church that he wanders into. Um, the other cops are trying to get him, you know, to, you know, go with God, and he's resistant for most of it, hits rock bottom. So, just like any other faith-based movie, you gotta hit rock bottom, and hopefully they climb back out of it. That's really what it's all about. One of the things that, you know, besides the, the moral of the story and the ultimate hopefully feel good piece of it is the music that they put in this uh, I, I think it, it it really draws you in right in the beginning like I said there's a little tragic part and you've only watched a film for a couple of minutes and you're drawn into that emotion from the music and from the way they set it up so you know I mean there's there's people who make these Oscar award-winning films and there's people who make these films but they can still connect to your emotions so bravo for that and I'll also throw in this other piece where there, I didn't know what break, break every chain, like why did they call it that? Well, there's a scene, very powerful scene in this movie. It's meant to be a powerful scene. And the music, it just, again, the soundtrack pulls you into that scene. Although, you know, if I were to do something like that, you might be like, eh, whatever. But the music does it in this one. So, um, so I like that aspect of it a lot. And uh, there you go. Um, I had something else I wanted to say, and I lost it, but um, worth a watch, I think. I mean, it's very stereotypical of a faith-based film, as you can imagine, um, but uh, I can understand why some people, it was just rated low for one of two reasons, I'm betting. One, because it's faith-based. So a lot of people don't watch it, or they don't, you know, everybody has their own, their own jam, if you will, and that might not be their jam, and two, because police, unfortunately, there's people who don't like the police, and so, so there you go. Um, if you're okay with both of those things, which I am, um, this is a pretty decent film. Again, follows the same storyline as most others, but uh, worth a watch. So, oh, forgot a very important impact. Didn't find out to the end based on a true story. There you go. That's what I got for you. Hopefully, it was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub. Thank <laughs> you.